kind of like having an encyclopedia in print form on your bookshelf. The minute it's published, it's no longer relevant because by the time you get the copy, a million other things have changed or happened. It's rethinking every routine that we've always done. You know, it's individualizing every kind of material. You know, for me, it's a crash course into um, an area that I was not necessarily wanting to go, you know. Um. Okay, I think I'm ready to get started. What does that mean? That means mute and pin. Okay, so is everybody ready for eyes watching? Well, first we gotta be seated in our seats. Eyes watching. Ears listening. Mouth quiet. Mouth's quiet and we're already muted. And body still. For me, it's it's more of the stress of not being able to meet my students. I kind of gave up on curriculum back in August and I'm teaching as much as I can, but it's more, I'm losing sleep over the fact that I can't protect the children that I've always tried to protect in my classroom. What do you have is these veteran teachers walking around like first year teachers, you know? You know, I've already known some of some people that don't want to teach anymore. And um, it's sad, but I think it takes a special kind of person to teach right now. And you have to really, really love what you do to be able to do it right now. Um, the public was, you know, let's get those students back in. Let's get those students back in. And um, the teachers are lazy and things like that. And it's like, oh my goodness, no, you know, bring the students in. We know how to teach that, you know, this, we don't know how to teach. I think it's hard um, seeing them not get the credit that they deserve because teachers are really like, they're wired really thin right now. And um, I think it's just been hard for everybody. And I feel like a lot of the time yeah, they're not getting the recognition that they deserve. And a lot of times they deal with issues that aren't really their issues to deal with. You know? Like, I don't think that the people who made the decisions, like a lot of people, at least in our county, have um, turned around and been very negative towards administration, towards, I mean, teachers, but I mean, your teachers kind of get flack just for being teachers. Um, but they've turned it around and been very negative with admin, with the school board, with um, the upper level admin, like superintendents and stuff like that. But really what it comes down to is that there is no right way to do this. There is none. We don't have an instruction guide. There isn't a playbook. Um, and we're basically learning as we go. Now, do I agree with every decision that's been made? No, I don't. But I do know that I don't wanna make these decisions. I would rather somebody else tell me what is going to happen and me be like, yeah, I don't want to do this than me to make the decision and have everyone hate me or half the community hate me and half the community think I'm doing a good job. My whole thing is, is that I hope that at the forefront of these people who are making this decision, I hope the forefront of their mind is the health and safety of the students um, because that's paramount. I mean, I, yeah, health and safety of teachers and staff matters too, but the children are our first priority. And that's that's something that I think is being lost in translation with all of this, is that we have to think of the student as a whole. So bringing them back in some respects is great. Sometimes not bringing them back is better, but there's no right or wrong answer at this point. Gosh, this sounds scary, but I think for the next, like at least five years, I think we are going to be hybrid. I don't think this virus is going anywhere. And I also think that, you know, now that we know that we can teach virtually, there's this like push to do it because, you know, what happens on a snow day? I think that it'll change the profession and the fact that there's gonna be less 
like inclement weather days and stuff like that. And I think when teachers are sick, they can teach from home. And so I feel like it is, you know, it's changing it maybe for the better. I think that once we come through this, I think the scope of what education is will be changed. I think that will require a, uh, a difference in how we execute the education system. But I am hopeful that we will come out of this with a positive light and we'll have a clear image of what actually matters in education. Go teachers. <laughs>